Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. It is a sunny Monday. Uh, I think storms are in the offing for later this afternoon, but we'll see um, as things work themselves out. Um, what do I want to talk to you about today? Well, I want to talk to you today about uh, name calling. What do I mean by that? Because, you know, name calling is something that I would hope as we become more adult, uh, we wouldn't do. But yet, it seems to me that the uh, more I listen to the discourse of our nation, the more um, things seem to be spiraling into all sorts of name calling. And so I want to, uh, first off, um, encourage you today to not give folks platforms in your mind when you hear them start name calling. Because the worst thing that we can do is give them a place to dwell when they start their name calling and then, um, start using that same language ourselves. And I hear it happen very easily, you know, it just happens and suddenly you're in it and it and it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because beloved, the more you refer to people by other names, you name call the less that person gets to be human. They become something other than. And the more they are something other than, the easier it is to name call them, the, ne the easier it is to defame them, the easier it is to forget one thing in particular, and that is that they too are made in the image of God. And so being made in the image of God is part of their humanity and when we dehumanize them through name calling we are we are attacking the very thing that God says they are now i recognize that that may be a a bit of a stretch for us to think about but beloved it's important because when you forget that that other person is a image bearer as well. They become something like the enemy. And they can be treated ever how they want to be treated, however how you want to treat them. They become less than someone who can be reached by the gospel or should even deserve the gospel. They then therefore become someone who doesn't deserve mercy or deserves to be heard or deserves to um, be reached in any way. And so the longer we go down that path, the more it becomes easier to forget that they deserve love. Because isn't that what we all God bear image bearers deserve is love it becomes hard but the more I hear the discourse of our nation the more I hear people of faith engaging in such discourse the more I understand that we've got to back away from it I think that's why Jesus, in writing in and speaking in Matthew, uh, chapter uh, number five, when the Sermon on the Mount says, "You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says you fool." will be liable to the fire, hell of fire. 
seems that Jesus takes away name calling too, in part because of this whole image bearer thing. The only way we can bring our nation back together is if we reinstitute humanizing everyone. And humanizing them begins with recognizing that they are made in God's image. And refraining from engaging in name calling and refraining from even allowing ourselves to listen to folks who engage in like manner. You say, do I have to completely turn them off all the time? Well, no, but beloved, you should be careful what you listen to. Because the more you hear it, the more it seeps in and it becomes part of who you are. Final thought on that. I was down east this past week, twice, Thursday and Friday, and is is often the case when I travel east. My accent changes because I keep ingesting the accent that I grew up with and so it becomes slower, more drawn out. Some ways that I would say words that I try to get away from suddenly come flying back in. And it takes me a while to get rid of it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just a difference. Beloved, when you ingest, the same thing can happen to you. So be careful what you're listening to. Don't dehumanize. Remember, everyone is made in the image of God. And thereby, everyone is called for us to be loved. Because truly then, can we begin to heal the fissures that are found across our society. Until later this week, I hope you have a good week. Remember... Grace abounds. Grace abounds even to the folks we don't like. May it always abound through and to us. Take care.